it's Anna here. Today I would like to show you a process video for layout created with the CAD files from the CAD shop. Uh, I will be using um, two sets of CAD files. The words are from Away with Words a CAD file set and this kind of a pie chart uh, thing it's from let them eat pie and it's another set of four um, four designs i will be using all my heart collection by paige evans um, because it's colorful and it's totally my style and the page is one of my favorite designers and I love this collection and you know I don't have to say more <laughs> everyone knows page and um, I used paper scraps to back my cut file and uh, I also used um, card uh, cardboard to add a little bit of dimension you can of course use some foam or stuff like that and <clears throat> I will be adding some watercolors under my uh, cutout. Um, so I am marking the places where uh, where the pie chart ends. But first, I would like to add a little bit of texture using this uh, stencil. It's a stencil from, I think, Echo Park. Maybe, but it's a tiny star stencil, so uh, I'm sure you have one from other company. It's a very popular uh, design. I'm also using um, acrylic paste, modeling paste. It's from Prima, but you can use uh, any other uh, 3D paste or modeling paste or however they call it. <laughs> So uh, I applied the stars, I let them to dry and I am using white paper for my background and it's a watercolor paper so I can uh, use watercolors and a lot of water and it can handle the water. So remember to use a proper uh, paper sheet for this kind of design and now I am going to duplicate the colors from the pie chart and the papers it's kind of a rainbow uh, using watercolors and uh, once again I'm creating something like a color wheel or stuff like that uh, by applying uh, different colors um, that are usually uh, beside one or an, another one and another in the uh, color wheel <clears throat> I may be missing some color like red because I don't like red too much and I don't think it matches my project and I only have eight spots in pie chart and so it's my project, I can paint it <laughs> whatever I like. Um, <clears throat> I mark the lines where my uh, pie, pie chart triangles uh, will reach. So I'm not painting the whole background, only the spots where that will be visible. And I am also adding um, color wheel in the middle because uh, the middle of the cut file is empty and you will be able to see a little bit of the background. So I also added the colors there. I am using quite a lot of water and uh, watercolors because I want my design to be very colorful. And uh, I will also color the words. Uh, I have eight uh, areas and colors in the pie chart and I have eight words. They are from this, from, all from the same um, set of cut files. And they are not cut in watercolor paper, just, this is just an American Crafts white cardstock, but it can handle a water quite well, uh, especially when you have only this small portion of uh, paper, so you can uh, add water and leave it to dry and it will look good. <clears throat> so I am using the same colors I used to uh, create my background. I sped up the video um, 3.5 times. I am not as fast as in painting as you can see on the video. Um, I am using a um, paper towel behind because uh, if you will not use any 
good absorbing surface, the uh, cut cutouts will be floating in water and it can destroy them. So it's good to use a paper towel when you are painting, uh, stuff like that. And look how pretty the background is. This paper towel looks so pretty that I want to use it somewhere on the scrap, but I won't because I am not that brave. Mm. And the last word, hello. Uh, I was trying to find all the words that are will be some um, compliments for my daughter's picture, but uh, it wasn't enough words in the set that were, hmm, how to say it in English, uh, descriptions. So I also used best and forever and hello, I think, but it's all good because it's not about direct and precision, direct direct <coughs> words and precision it's about fun of creating um and now what i'm doing now i'm backing my picture i chose colorful picture and as you will see at the end of the video i will change it for black and white this picture is colorful but it's still in some gray tones but somehow uh, at the end I wanted it to be black and white so I converted this printed it once again and switched the pictures and as I said before I am using all my heart collection I made quite a lot of projects using this collection so I have only uh, some stickers left and papers but I had this uh, black and white papers with a bunch of flowers and I wanted to cut out this um, big yellow paper. I don't have a lot of flowers left in my ephemera pack. Uh, actually, those are three ephemera packs connected together. So I have a lot of the same elements uh and <clears throat> you won't get them all when you purchase the ephemera set you will only get uh, one of each so remember that i have three sets here and also here i have two sets of the stickers one i got from Paige when i was a guest designer uh, with this collection at her blog and the second one came with the hip kits uh, I don't remember the month, but it was the month where the All oh My Heart collection was um, main addiction to the kids. And uh, I trimmed a flower a little bit because my picture is already glued down, so I couldn't uh, add it behind the photo. And I am also gluing my inscriptions, my words, but I'm not adding a lot of glue, only a few spots, because I still want them to be this wonky dimensional i don't know <laughs> the english words i think i even don't know the polish word to describe what i was going to say but now it's just basically a uh, play time with the colors and embellishments i'm trying to match embellishments by colors to the fields of the pie chart uh, and i am going to use those girly stuff that was included in the all my heart collection like a nail, nail polish and uh, there were some purses and stuff like that but i already used most of them on one of the layouts I made with Gabrysia making a makeup so it was a good uh, <coughs> way to use but now I am using socks <laughs> finally my first pair of socks used on the layout yay some kind of celebration is needed in here because although I love uh, all my heart collection, some of the elements um, like socks and the bowls and the uh, cups of coffee or mugs of coffee or something like that this is something i barely use because well i am not sure maybe there is some kind of a page when i would be able to use bowls a row of bowls but i still haven't got a perfect picture and now uh, I had this idea to add numbers to my pie chart starting from uh, 1 to 8 and I am going to mix three thicker set. The first one was from All My Heart collection. The second one, the one I am using right now is from maybe their Lazy collection. I don't know. Uh, thickers, they are not... Uh, 
labeled by collection only by name so you never know <laughs> which collection is it after you put them into the basket with stickers uh, so <clears throat> I am not sure, but the biggest stickers I are from another page, Evans collection called called White and Free. I don't know. I don't remember the name, but it was her first collection, and it has those pretty watercolor look. And it, this is the moment when I am switching the picture for the black and white version. Uh, it was printed a little bit bigger but it still looked pretty and I wanted to add something black, dark over the picture so I was trying a few uh, chipboard stickers uh, from the Oh My Heart collection mm, and when I thought that I finally found the perfect one um, I changed my mind and used glasses I don't know why I use glasses, then they doesn't match any theme, but I wanted to use them so much, so I used them. Who cares if they match the theme of the page? It's a um, mix and match of qualities of my girls, and I think maybe uh, glasses would match their qualities too. They are the best, they are funny, and because I am their mother, they are the best children in the world for me. And the last step is to splash around my uh, background using the same uh, watercolors. Uh, and <clears throat> I did it in every color of the pie chart. And that's it, it was the final step. My layout is ready and here are a few close-ups. I really like how it turned out. Paige Evans designs collection that are always filled with all range of colors so you can easily create watercolor, uh, not watercolor, rainbow designs as I did here. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the cat file, uh, the cat shop blog and see you soon. Bye bye.